Fixing your Wi-Fi if it's grayed out on your iPhone is quick and easy. I'll walk you through the steps, but first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into your settings here. And you can see right under airplane mode is Wi-Fi. Let's tap on that. Now, from here, if you swipe down from the top right, you should be able to see in the control center your Wi-Fi. So you can toggle it on or off here, but I also would recommend going into the settings and toggling it off and waiting for a second and toggling it back on. Now, if you can't turn it off or on, and essentially it's grayed out or not working, it could be because of a screen time issue. So go back to the beginning, and we'll scroll down until we get to screen time. And then again, scroll down to content and privacy restrictions. From here, I would recommend just turning this off. If you have it on, this could be causing issues with limiting your ability to use Wi-Fi. Now, after you've done that, go back to the beginning and tap Wi-Fi and see if it works at this point. If it doesn't, let's go back out of here. We'll tap on general and then scroll to the bottom and hit transfer or reset iPhone. From here, we're gonna tap on reset and reset network settings. Just enter the passcode for your phone and reset all the network settings, including your Wi-Fi settings back to the factory default. A lot of times this fixes it. Now, if this doesn't, the next thing we will do is go back to the beginning, tap on general, and then tap on software update. Just update your phone to the latest iOS operating system. This could be a bug or a glitch causing it to be grayed out on your phone and just by updating should fix the problem. Now, if that doesn't, the last thing I would recommend doing is going back out of here to the general screen, scrolling down and just hitting shutdown. You'd be surprised how many times just turning your phone off and turning it back on. It could have been up and running for days or weeks without a proper reboot so just rebooting it a lot of times fixes those bugs or glitches and you should be good to go.